Okay, so we're going to look at uh, putting some of your traditional Jaguar Mantis techniques into flow drills for sparring. So we're going to look at the, uh, the Mantis washing the wings, similar to the pummelin drill from the, uh, the wrestling. There are different applications, but that's what we're going to look at today. So uh, I was saying to Brian, this is the reason why in the Mantis do a lot of conditioning techniques without pads, so you do your forearm slamming, back of the hands conditioning, yeah, uh, and pushing the bicep, yeah, because within the pummeling, pummeling drills, here, so this would be your traditional wrestling pummeling drill, but rather than just pummeling, you want to put your techniques in, so instead of just coming under here to the turn bra, okay, which is in the, the sport of wrestling. So you would actually you can come in with pie cue right, as you go under here. So pie cue to the ribs, yeah, and then instead of bringing this down just to spin your partner, pie cue here, here, taking out the elbow as best you can, okay. So you've pie cue, break, then turn. Because uh, if you just turn out, he still has this limb. And remember your theory with the Jaguar Mantis is to take out the limbs before you start eating the body, but like the insect. <laughs> so, one, pike you, break, yeah? This will weaken this, break, and then turn. <clears throat> one, you can also elbow, bicep, lobster, and then attack. So, try and take your, I said before, your forms are like a book. Take the techniques and apply them to all your different flow drills. So, one, two, three. High kick, break, lapsa. And you've also just your flow drills here. Just turning your partner, doing different techniques, okay? Then you go into your, from that range, you go into your pie cue. Yeah. So it's your block, 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 yep. So then you're back into your own flow drill, and then you're going to mix it again because you will always end up in a grappling situation, in and out, and also your floor work. So uh, good luck with your practice. Remember, play with all your techniques. See you soon.